comes the game. The COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Nobody possesses a higher in-ring IQ than the Cerebral Assassin. Well, think about it. Every tactic, every trick, every technique you can think of, Triple H has mastered. Yeah, the game will stop at nothing. He'll use every tool at his disposal to win the matchup. That is why he has become maybe the greatest of all time. Kurt Angle considers the entire locker room an open challenge. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to night one of the WWE Draft right here on Raw on our WWE 2K23 Universe Mode Series. What a first premium live event clash at the castle was. If you missed it, go back and check it out. You're not going to want to miss all of that content and the fallout from Clash at the Castle. Without further ado... It's time to start round one of the WWE Draft with our very first pick going to Raw. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, will be joining the Red Brand on our very first pick in the WWE Draft. Well, what a first pick that was for Raw in the WWE Draft. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes will be going to the red brand. Now it's time for SmackDown's first pick in the WWE Draft. Who is going to the SmackDown brand? And it is the Bloodline, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, the Usos, who are the Unified Tag Team Champions, and Paul Heyman, at the back there, the Bloodline will be joining the Blue Brand on SmackDown. Well, as round one continues in the WWE Draft, that is a huge pick for both Raw and SmackDown. The Bloodline, consisting of the Usos and Roman Reigns, with Paul Heyman headed to the Blue Brand. Of course, there is a catch here. We are just hearing that a deal was made. If the Usos... We're able to stay as a unit with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman as the bloodline that they would forfeit the Raw Tag Team titles 
to be able to be in a tournament on Raw going forward. So the Usos made a deal to stay whole as the bloodline to be drafted to either Raw or SmackDown, so they agreed to relinquish one of the tag team titles for whichever brand they did not get drafted to. And, of course, the Bloodline's going to smack set SmackDown, so that frees up the Raw tag team titles on our Raw brand going forward. We continue round one of the WWE Draft with the next pick going to our Raw brand. Who is the next pick going to Raw? We find out right now. The Brawling Brute Sheamus, Butch, and Ridge Holland are joining the red brand over on Raw. Well, you get three for the price of one here. What a big pick for Raw. Well, the draft continues, and it's time for the next and final pick of round one of the draft. Who is going to our SmackDown brand? It is Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. They were just in a big rivalry with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and Seth Rollins at Clash at the Castle. The Judgment Day are heading to the blue brand. What is next for the Judgment Day? Well, that is it for round one of the draft. It is time to jump into our first action of the night. And yes, it consists of our very new first draft picks here for Raw as we jump into the action. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar either. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. Toughest and meanest, Rich Holland looking to leave his mark on his opponent here. He's an absolute brute, Cole. He wasn't satisfied cracking heads on the rugby pitch, but that love of the fight fits the WWE real well. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't want to be the one standing across from Holland here, or anywhere for that matter. And Cody Rhodes will meet him across the ring, something that many fans still find to be a surprising reality. Cody once came at the King and lived to tell the tale. But really, it makes perfect sense. Cody Rhodes believes in himself. He will bet on himself every single time, and more often than not, it pays off. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Boom! What a right! Uh-oh! And Cody didn't see that coming. East River crossing! Stop in the leg! Uh-oh, this isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Suplex. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. <laughs> Saw that one coming, took advantage. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Cody Rhodes once wrestled with a torn peck. Truly as tough as they come. How do you overcome that toughness? Well, it's not an easy answer, but it is the true one. You have to outfight Cody. 
He'll stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. He'll throw hands till he drops. So just make sure he drops before you do. And I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Ah, uh, that hurt. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things team for team, Corey. He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Uh-oh. Dark matter. Goes into the pin. And he easily stops the ref's count. This isn't even close to over. Hoisted up, inverted face lock, applied, layout DDT. Attacks from the arsenal of Cody Rhodes. Ridge needs to figure things out. No! Suicide dive! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Holland able to counter. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. Ridge looking for a raucous fight night atmosphere as he turns his attention to the crowd. Oh, what a chop block. Oh my gosh, what impact. Dominating shoulder tackle. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Ridge Holland showing up his power with a ridge plex. Holland delivered that move with every ounce of iron in his body. That holds back Holland's attack. Oh my! His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Missed timing with that springboard. And well-timed maneuver there. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Vicious right forearm. Big right connects. of a second. Clothesline! The end may be in sight for his opponent here. Not what you want to see by any means. Cody Rhodes with a through the air. Cody Cutter. Cover! There's two! Oh, a near fall. No way. No way. I refuse to believe that wasn't three. Holland's legs are teetering. He might have nothing left. The American Nightmare. There's Crossroads. Look at Rich. His lights are out. For the win. Two. And Cody Rhodes picks up the W. Here is your winner. The American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. This kind of win establishes him to the world. An important win for him in this one. A win's a win, and it's also all that matters here in WWE. Good job. Well, what a match that is. It is now time for round two of the draft. Round one was straight phenomenal to open up the show. And of course, Cordy Rhodes in action right there. Now it's time to jump into round two of the draft. Raw getting the first pick. Who is going to be joining the Red Brand? Drew McIntyre, the Intercontinental Champion, bringing the Intercontinental Championship over to the Red Brand. 
Drew McIntyre, a huge pick for Raw in the draft. Well, it is now time for SmackDown's pick in round two of the draft. Who is going to the blue brand? It is the United States champion, Seth Rollins. Of course, Raw got the Intercontinental Championship, so SmackDown following it up, claiming the United States Championship for the blue brand to kick off round two of the draft. Of course, the next pick goes to Raw. Who is going to be the next pick to go to the red brand? We're going to find out right now. Imperiums, Gunther, Giovanni Vinci, and Ludwig Kaiser are going to be joining the red brand. Raw's pick in round two of the draft. What a couple picks those are. Drew McIntyre and Imperium going to Raw. Who is the next pick? For SmackDown. SmackDown selecting Austin Theory. Austin Theory coming from NXT is going to be joining the SmackDown brand. What a pick there for SmackDown. Well, that's it for round two of the WWE draft. Some good picks there for Raw and SmackDown. It is time to get back into some more action here on Raw. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Drew McIntyre in the ring, and he's looking all business here. When that bell rings, it's like a switch is flipped inside of McIntyre, Michael. You'd be hard-pressed to find another superstar in WWE's locker room with the heart, resilience, and willingness of Drew McIntyre. Time and time again, we've seen those innate characteristics of Drew change the tide of a match completely. Yeah, Byron, those attributes have proven almost as important as Drew's physical strength. And then there's Gunther, a proud competitor with a simple objective. He's out to restore honor and glory to the ring. He's trying to clean up the riffraff around here and return some dignity to this industry. Oh, is that what you call it? Because it seems to me like he just looks down on everyone else. No one is good enough in Gunther's eyes not to take him on or even stand shoulder to shoulder with him. You say proud, I think he's conceited. Oh, tossed aside. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Delivers the knee drop. Something that sticks out to me about Drew McIntyre across his match. Kimura, the Kimura. Oh, it's locked in. Will this match end on a submission? And look at this. Kimura lock. Nowhere to go but for her. Oh, my God. They broke out of it. And that definitely made solid impact. He's taking some good hits. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. My goodness, did you hear that chop? Ooh, hard impact in the corner. Close line. Good oh, Lord. So effective. 
All the way up. And the cross lift. He could pin his opponent right here. No, he kicks out at two and a half. That had to have been closer to three than he'd like. No way. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Ah, he turns it around. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Uh-oh, this... Uh-oh. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. Strong takedown. some tough hits now. Gunther with steely resolve to do that kind of damage. Gunther. Coquina clutches in. Time to go night-night. Drew McIntyre is in a bad way. Does he have the wherewithal to break the submission? Yes. Yes, he does. Deconstructing the knee there. And not, oh, and he could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Oh, my God, he's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Oh, boy, he's stalking him, watching for an opening. Right back with a reversal. is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Oh, by Drew McIntyre. Will Drew finish things down? longer. This has been a colossal battle to this point. No superstar is showing signs of backing down. We're seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a pivotal mistake. In the 
corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Things went from bad to worse. Yeah. Oh, no. You better make reservations at the local medical facility. Counter on Guther pays off. Gunther were able to steer clear. What a chop! Oh, that'll line up your chest. Getting back into the ring. Oh. All right, that's it. Oh, on the spot. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Gunther from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Look. The clutch is in. This one could be over. Uh, breaking the grip. Breaking the grip. Breaking the hold. Whoa. Not quite yet. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh. Oh, come on. And uncanny showing of power. Oh, this one's over. Tap out. He is doing whatever he can to break the come on. And he does. Oh. Back elbow. Unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. Well, what a tremendous win for Raw's newest acquisition, Gunther, against the Intercontinental Champion, another new acquisition, Drew McIntyre. But it is now time for round three of the draft. Who is Raw's first pick in round three? It is none other than the NXT, former NXT champion, L.A. Knight. Of course, L.A. Knight does have to relinquish the NXT championship as we have said farewell to NXT. But L.A. Knight will still be bringing the same energy that he had on NXT over to the red brand. What a pick that is for Raw. It is now time for SmackDown and their next pick. Who is going to the blue brand? The Queen Charlotte Flair is going to SmackDown. What a massive pick for SmackDown's women's division here in round three of the draft. Charlotte, that's a huge pick for SmackDown. What a grab here in the WWE draft. Well, it is now time both Raw and SmackDown have two final picks here in round three of the draft. And then the rest of the draft will occur on our SmackDown show for night two of the draft. So who is Raw's next pick? It is the former NXT North American champion before he lost it in his last matchup against Solo Sokoa. J.D. McDonough is now a member of the Raw roster. Coming from NXT, J.D. McDonough looking to shake things up on the red brand. What a pick that is for Raw. And SmackDown's final pick of round three is none other than the one and only Ricochet. A high flyer like Ricochet on the blue brand. You cannot beat that pick. For SmackDown, it is now time for our final matchup of the night as we jump into some action. The Irish Ace ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough is an Irish nobleman who walks with an air of distinction. 
And tonight, he's looking to throw hands. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Well, I knew the day would come when the entire WWE Universe would know LA Knight's name. It was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Same result in WWE. The Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, looking to inflict his own brand of hard-hitting offense in the ring here. The necessary evil the WWE needs. J.D. McDonough has an incredible work ethic in the ring, and it's often proven to be too much for his opponents. Yeah, and because of that, Corey, it's hard to deny that McDonough is one of the most promising superstars that WWE has seen in recent years. And with L.A. Knight, you're looking at a superstar and a man of a certain set of skills who absolutely knows how to get things done in the ring just gets right up in your face and takes you on head on. From behind, back suplex. Double leg takedown, crushing double stomp. Setting up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. I oh, had that well scouted. to the quick pin attempt. And only a one count. Too early for that pin attempt. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Unloading! Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Got the single arm under him. Into a nice takedown. LA Knight just oozing confidence tonight. You gotta think it's tough to compete with bravado like that. Yes and no. Knight thinks he's got this one, but that could be an asset. He could be looking past his opponent tonight, which leaves an opening for him to be caught flat. He thinks he has it. Power right out at one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Yeah, and it looked like JD is dead set on destruction with that move. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. And he gets set back into the ring. Oh, God. 
right on the jaw by an unsuspected uppercut. Burning hammer. L.A. Knight getting it done there. Pure physicality. L.A. Knight kick to the cut. C.F.T. Knight stamping an end to this. It's over. L.A. Knight scores the victory. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. And he certainly proved himself a superstar to watch with this one. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner. Well, that does it for night one of the WWE Draft here on Raw. Join us on the next episode of Universe Mode for night two of the draft on our SmackDown brand. What picks here in this first episode of the draft? You're not going to want to miss the next episode. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the new content on the channel. And we will see you on night two of the WWE Draft on SmackDown.